the real count since 90, 96. But uh, we know what happened in 2000. The election was clearly stolen. 2004 is murky. Uh, the last election, apparently Obama won. Uh, but again, you know, you, you elections don't, these people can't afford real elections. You know that. No, I understand that. And it's like anybody running for president of the United States in this country does not get on the platform with the with the uh, with the two main candidates, the, either the Republican Party or the Democratic Party. You're quite aware of that. I'm very we're aware running, of that. I, gentlemen, we're running into our midway break, and uh, we'll be right back. This is Freedom Fighters for America Radio. Tom Hennigan and Stu Webb Intel Hour will be right back. Again and Stu Webb Intel Hour. Go ahead, Tom. Stu? Yes, Tom. Yeah, okay. Well, you know, again, uh, you talk about elections and, uh, you know, what I'm looking at right now is what the American people can do to really save their country from this from this crap. That's now, you talk about, you talk, I, I talk about really getting enough food and enough firearms. This is a necessity to protect your property and to feed yourself. Because these people have a lot of contingencies. As long as they control the media. And of course, they, they, they control it with the money, the derivative thing. Now, the derivative thing collapses. Remember, the media thing collapses. So eventually, uh, you will see the whole thing collapse. But in the meantime, these people are Satanists, they're sickos, they're sociopaths. They are going to attack the American people in the end, whether it's with bird flu, some type of chemical thing. Uh, as you know, Stu, they have no principles, do they? They have no principles and they're very evil. And I want to touch on this because they have already attacked America. We have 50,000 people dead, according to spoofs that I know. 50,000. CDC's hiding the numbers out of Atlanta. They're only reporting 10,000 dead so far across the nation of the flying pig flu, I call it. That was the operational code name that Daddy Bush gave it. And of course, that we are now aware that got the Air France plane shot down two and a half months ago because of the French and U.S. officers that were aboard that we're on to this information. We also know that not only 50,000 are dead, but I was talking to someone today in Dallas, Texas, who heard an MD on the radio yesterday on a radio talk show in Dallas that was saying that 50% of Americans will come down with the flu in the next six months, some sort of the H1N1, H5N1, H5N3, whichever, SARS, the swine flu, uh, the bird flu, one of the three. And we know they've already done the attack. We've got 50,000 people already dead. Now, if half the population comes down with the flu, how many are going to end up dead? And well, how, we then, all, what we, could we they do they, regarding martial law? 
We have to remember this. This is a staged attack. Crisis creation for crisis control or crisis solution for crisis control. They create the crisis. They come up with the solution so they can have more control over the people. The same we scenario. Know, we, know the H1, we know the H1N1 is basically a military weapon that was released from laboratories in Czechoslovakia and Austria. So this was no accident that this flu got out there. And I these, mean, it's just these shots. Uh, we've got uh, several reports up on, the, uh, up on StuWeb.com about these shots contaminated already. The, the pharmaceuticals that are involved in it, and and uh, I'm being told by everybody, everybody in the intelligence community that I'm aware of are saying, do not take the shots. Tell everybody, do not take the shots. You got a 50% chance or less of living if you take the shot. Period. Since the flu is airborne, it can be controlled with nanotechnology. What is nanotechnology, folks? Nanotechnology basically is a sophisticated way of controlling a virus. And they can track it through various uh, technology, which is sophisticated, uh, uh, is a form of laser technology, identifying mo molecules. So you, you do not have what I call, um, what you have here is a black op that can be sprung on the American people at any time. And one of the reasons they're hesitant about ordering the flu vaccine is because at this time most Americans won't take it. Will they still? No, they won't. And Tom, I want to add something for health purposes that I've just recently discovered, and it goes back to some old things of, in the mid '90s that I was quite aware of and was told many, many times from the various uh, doctor groups that I had spoken before doing uh, political speeches, uh, and indicated that. Food grade hydrogen peroxide helps put oxygen in the body. And viruses, these types of viruses, cannot live in the body if it's healthy and has a lot of oxygen in it. Now, that I'll make it quite clear, the hydrogen peroxide off the counter at your local grocery store doesn't cut it. Here's why. It's got crushed up glass in it. It has to be food grade hydrogen peroxide. Health food stores sell it, about $30 a quart. It'll last you a 1,000 years a quart. You put one drop of, of, of high food grade digestible hydrogen peroxide in an 8 to 10 ounce glass of water once a week, you have tremendous amounts of oxygen that was just injected into your system. It will help kill bad viruses in your body. This is one way, folks. Start building your immune system. Apples, carrots, uh, uh, parsley are the three major immune system builders. I got hit with anthrax in 1995, nearly died. That's one of the things I was doing. Get these items. Start taking them now. Get prepared so you don't come down with this flu virus. And this nanotechnology that Tom is talking about, they can activate these viruses that were lab created with radio frequencies and laser technology, as you had described. Go ahead, Tom. Well, uh, again, uh, you're dealing with a situation that is, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, you've got the, the flu thing. You've got the economic thing. You've got the uh, basic destruction of the rule of law in this country. I just want to refer somebody to, uh, you know, to the fact that we have spent years now with this. I want people to check out a website, uh, newswithviews.com. It deals with Ambassador Leo Wanta, newswithviews.com. And it's a piece that is of extraordinary nature that will spell out for people exactly how the rule of law got to the level where there wasn't any and why we are facing all this criminal and outrageous activity at this time. When there is no rule of law, there's no there's no oversight. Whether we have that anarchy, we have out and out anarchy on all fronts. So it's up to the American people, basically, to, as I say, identify the enemy of the American Republic and the American Revolution of the 21st century and annihilate them. And you can define annihilate as